everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I cannot believe we're only a week away from Christmas and two weeks away from the new year. So I thought I would do a really casual video and just kind of like talk you through the pieces in my wardrobe that I already have that I can then tailor into holiday appropriate outfits. Whether it's a nice lunch or it's an evening event, um, I've kind of put together a range of outfits from really casual pieces to slightly more dressy pieces. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy holidays! I know a lot of the pieces that I'm wearing is a little bit more summer appropriate. It's because I live in Australia and it is summer. But with any of these outfits, um, given that you don't live somewhere like super super cold, I feel like I would just layer a black blazer over the top or um, a black wool coat that's a little bit longer um, to stay warm. So I feel like you absolutely cannot go wrong with a simple black tank top. Um, this one is from the brand Glaçons in Australia. They have an online shop, so I'll link it down below. But this is a really beautiful, like, ribbed tank top with a bit of lace detailing. So I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. But it's very, very, very simple. And it's quite fitted, so it's just a really versatile piece, I feel like, for um, being casual enough for daytime and dressy enough for nighttime. This is obviously not for those of you who live in super cold climates. I'm currently in Australia where it's summer, so that it has been a really good piece. If you live somewhere colder, I feel like a long sleeve body with a bit of lace will do a very similar thing. Um, I've paired it in, I've styled it two ways with two midi skirts. One is super ruffly, so this one is navy with white dots and it's from Sew the Label. I got this from a sample sale and I feel like it's the perfect festive piece. Um, there is just so much ruffling going on and I just feel like it's really really fun to wear. The other way I styled the black top was with this leopard print skirt. Um, I feel like I've featured this skirt in quite a few videos lately. I feel like leopard print is just such a fun print and it's perfect for this festive time of year. This came in a set with the um, ruffle skirt from before but this is actually a crop top with a ruffle sleeve. It's a little bit she as you might be able to see. I love to pair it with this lace skirt. So this is my lover skirt that I purchased I think a few years ago at this point on sale and I really like the contrast between these two pieces. Super light and airy silk and this is quite a heavier lace and I just really like the way they look. This next dress is from Mango and it's a simple off-white coloured dress. Uh, it's a shirt dress style so it has the buttons with the two pockets on the chest and a bit of like a v-neck. This dress comes with like a fabric belt but I oftentimes just wear it super loose. So the reason why I like this dress is because of the way the material drapes. Uh, it does feel very drapey and as you move I feel like the material looks really elegant and moves with you. Um, the only thing I'll say is that it does crease a little bit towards the end of the day and I do iron it between wears. When the dress coat is quite casual I feel like this is the perfect dress. Uh, because it is casual, it's a shirt dress, it's loose. If you paired it with some cute accessories, you can make it look appropriate for a daytime party. Or if you paired it with something sparkly, I feel like it could be appropriate for nighttime as well. This next dress is one that I think will be appropriate for either a daytime lunch or even a casual evening event. It's in that same super fun leopard print and it's from the brand Faithful, which I've been, I've really been liking them lately. The dress I'm currently wearing is actually from Faithful as well. The reason why I like it is mainly because of the print, but also I do find it quite versatile. I feel like it's very fitting for a daytime event, but even for a fun nighttime event, leopard print can look really good at night as well. So, love this dress and something that's quite easy to wear for this time of year. So now moving on to some slightly dressier options. I have this Grana silk dress. So this was one of the dresses that I featured in one of my first videos on YouTube and I think I showed 5 different ways to style it. This is a dress I feel very comfortable wearing in the daytime layered over like a white short sleeve t-shirt but equally it's very elegant for the nighttime. So this dress has quite a deep V on both sides and there's quite a split at the bottom so as you move it, it does, you do show a bit of leg. And because it's silk, it does move really well, like many of the pieces that I've shown today. And just really easy to style. I paired it with a sparkly clutch and some heels, and I definitely felt like it was the kind of dress I could wear to a slightly more glamorous evening event. In a similar theme, I also have this um, black slip dress. 
and if you look at the material there's definitely a bit of sparkle to it this material is polyester but because this material is also super 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 light it's almost like a bit of a mesh it's actually quite comfortable to wear um, just because of how light it is so it crisscrosses at the back which is a nice detail it's another midi dress which obviously is just what I gravitate towards um, yeah, this one's a little bit tighter than the last one, so I feel like this could be a little bit more flattering for a party where you don't plan to eat a ton. So when I go to really dressy events, one of the first places I look for a dress is Beckham Bridge. Um, they're Australian and they just do some really beautiful pieces. So this is a dress I wore to a work event a while ago. This one is an off-the-shoulder design and then it comes with sleeves. I find I personally find sleeves just to be something really elegant and I love anything off the shoulder or one shoulder. This dress is quite tight so it wraps around my figure really well. Um, it has nice elongating seams that come through that come on both sides and a split at the bottom. You'll see in the cutaways it's really hard to show you on the dress. Everything about this dress from the fabric to the seams and the cut I feel like is very elongating, very elegant and I definitely feel like Beck and Bridge dresses just usually make me feel really good um, for an event. They do a lot of different variations of this dress, so I'll link it down below if you're interested. So I feel like a lot of these pieces were really simple, like the black dresses, um, the white dress was super simple, and a lot of the pieces were also quite casual and daytime. And I think having right accessories, like a sparkly clutch or a pair of good black heels, instantly can make an outfit feel a lot more glamorous and make it feel a little bit more holiday appropriate. So I hope you guys enjoyed my take on holiday dressing. This isn't super, this isn't like super glamorous or super formal. It's just me taking the pieces I already own and trying to give them a bit of a holiday twist. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy holidays. Bye!